To write the net ionic equation for Zn plus AgNO3, that's zinc plus silver nitrate, we'll use these rules here. So this is a single displacement reaction. The zinc is going to push the silver out. We'll have the silver by itself. The zinc's now bonded. First thing we have to do is balance the molecular equation. To do that, looks like we need a 2 here and a 2 here. So this is the balanced molecular equation for Zn plus AgNO3. Next, we need to write the state of each of the components here. So zinc by itself, that's going to be a solid zinc metal. And then silver, solid by itself, that's going to be solid like that. For AgNO3, nitrates are very soluble. So since this nitrate, this NO3 is soluble, I'm going to write Aq after it. And then zinc nitrate, another nitrate, very soluble. And we could look that up on a solubility table if we wanted to check and see. Next, we're going to split the soluble compounds apart into their ions, and this will be the complete ionic equation. Soluble compounds, those are the ones that are aqueous. They're dissolved in water. They're soluble. Before we do that, we need to write the charge, though, for all of the ions. So zinc, there's no charge for that. It's neutral by itself. Silver, let's look at the periodic table here. And we can see we've written the charges here for the different groups and so on. We can see silver that should be one plus. So silver has a positive charge. And silver, even though it's a transition metal, it's always going to be positive. Nitrate we don't find on the periodic table. You can look that up on a table of common polyatomic ions if you haven't memorized it. NO3 has a one minus ionic charge. Just put a minus up there. And that's one that you probably should remember. Zinc, that's another one. It's a transition metal, but it always has a two plus ionic charge. The nitrate we said has a negative charge. So we have the charges for everything. So now we can split these soluble compounds up. Zinc, that's a solid, so we're not going to split that up. We have Ag+, plus, that's the silver ion, and I won't write aqueous after each one. And we have two of these Ag+, plus ions. And then NO3, our nitrate, which we said has a negative charge. This two, it applies to everything, so we have two nitrate ions. And those are the reactants. Let's move this down a bit. For the products, we have Zn2 plus plus nitrate, NO3 minus. We have two of these nitrates, so we'll put a coefficient of two in front, plus we have the two Ag, which we said that's a solid. We'll write a little s after that. Now we can cross out the spectator ions. These are the ions that are on both sides of the equation. So we have zinc here, but it's zinc solid. Zn2+, plus. so those are different. Ag2+, plus, but it's a solid here. It doesn't have a charge. The two nitrates, though, they're on both sides here in the reactants and the products. So we just cross those out. And this is the net ionic equation. Let's clean that up, and it'll look like this. And this is the net ionic equation for Zn plus AgNO3, zinc plus silver nitrate. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.